Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joel, where I do reviews, help, and gaming, and wow, ah! This is my friend Joseph, and this is my friend Deacon from school. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. You're watching the Joel Me Show, and I'm your host, Joel. This is the 1980, 90 something Cadillac that I featured in my update on the YouTube shed. Um, or at least that's what I called it in my video. But this is the Cadillac that I was talking about, and I believe in that video. I talk about how my stepfather got into an accident with this vehicle, and um, the Cadillac actually, like, drove up over a car because of its weight and bent a whole bunch of the fender. This hood is a replacement from a junkyard. And you'll notice that I have jumper cables and two batteries. This one, you just want to see if it had any life in it. This one is the battery that I use for uh, my Ford Taurus that was featured very briefly on Joseph's old channel. I believe it's called Cal the Kid now. And if I get the keys, sorry if my voice sounds weird. I think I'm coming down with like a cold or something. But if I unlock the car, there is a pair of pliers in here to do something. If I set this under here, you'll see that the latch to pop the hood is broken. So you have to grab the cable from underneath with a pair of pliers. Or you have to actually get the pliers to the setting where they grab the wire. You grab it nice and stiff. And you pull until it pops. So there we go. Now the hood is popped. Shut that. And you'll see that I don't have the keys in. And I have the door shut so that no voltage needs to be fed at the moment. And then once you have that done, you just need to reach under the grill, which is integrated to the hood, and lift up on this little plastic tab. And then you pop the hood, and the hydraulic lifts will lift up the hood and this is the engine of the Cadillac this is a, a 32 valve uh, V8 and the battery head has, has the side socket mounts and uh, yesterday I was out here kind of figuring out how can I even open the hood um, I actually had to call my stepdad which is the one that got into the accident with this vehicle and he knows how to open the hood because I actually don't think this hood is the right kind of sorts or something along the lines of that. But if I go ahead and get this side of the cables and get all the dirt off of them, set them up here because I need to do it with one hand, not let the ground cut, touch anything, um, especially not the frame of the car. There you go, you'll see that that's connected. And then just going to feed the ground back there. Connect that. Okay, so now both of the wires there are connected. And actually, I had to kind of screw these two back in, the sockets, for the battery because I took them out a while ago. For, I don't even remember why, but I took them out. So I had to screw them back in earlier today. And now let's go ahead and attach it to the battery that has some life in it and I'll show you what life I was able to get out of the Cadillac. So attach this to the positive and attach this to the negative. There we go. So there we go. Now we do have electrical contact running through the Cadillac. And if I pop the door, you'll see that the lights pop on. And then when you shut the door, um, all of these should turn off in a little bit. They actually look a lot brighter than they are in person. All of these lights are dim because this battery isn't very well charged. But if I grab the key, stick it in the ignition. There we go. And you'll see that all that comes on. So that's good. And it's saying something about the engine oil. I don't know what that is, but if I try to start it, it does not do anything. I'll just do this once. So it just clicks. I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to ruin this car. And then the radio, at least some form works. And the horn works. 
like that. And of course, I think the windows. Well, at least they should have worked. Okay, so the battery is even more dead than I thought. When I press the window switch, it just kind of dies. Okay, but uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the hazards. Just so I can show you that something's working. So you can see the hazards on. Just to pop the door. You all see that the hazards are in fact working. And then if I go to the tail lights. So both of the tail lights are working as well. That one and then this one. And yeah that's about all I can necessarily show you for now and then actually yeah you can see that the hazards are causing a little bit of problem back there that's why I'm going to turn those off but the car is working of sorts just the average stuff I just thought I would show this to you guys so that is what I've got working on the Cadillac as of right now. Really, I just attacked this battery just to see if it was the car that was having problems or if it was just the battery. But if you guys enjoyed this short little video, make sure that you subscribe, watch the most recent video, like this video, and come and share to friends, family, and whoever desires. Yeah, bye for now, and thanks for watching.